smartphones, earbuds, laptops. Chances are you use these devices on a daily basis, but do you clean them regularly? <clears throat> I want to talk about it. With squeaky clean tech advice is Lisa Chang. <laughs> She's going to cuss me out on this one. We're going to talk about it. I want to talk about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually scared to ask, how often should we be cleaning our phones? Um, at least... Honestly, daily, this is what it's all about. And we're going to oh, talk... Oh, good, you're like me. I hope you're saying what? Yes. Because, come on, like, the phones are going with us everywhere. They but are. to say I stop and take the time to clean it every day, it's not happening. But <laughs> think about it, T. I mean, when you think about how many times you pick up your phone, right? It's gross, The yes. average Canadian is picking up their phone, only picking it up yeah. 76 times. But if you think about all of the devices mm -hmm. from, you know, our, our desktops to our laptops to our phones, our earbuds, everything we're going to talk about today, yeah. the amount of times that you actually touch it yes. to type or whatever, it's up to 3,000 thousand times a day and then what are we doing we're putting it on the table we're yes. eating yeah right yeah, yeah so yeah. it's really important that we stay on top of our high-tech hygiene okay you're grossing me out <laughs> I'm grossing my own self out uh, we're gonna start with screens yes so how do we clean the screens okay well as we know we're all surrounded by screens and yeah. our screens are glass and on top of that glass has a protective coating right. now many of the manufacturers that you're gonna see today they put a lot of R&D into the actual screen itself which requires you to use really gentle ingredients and gentle methods to keep your products clean. Okay. You never want to use things that will scratch it or, you know, harsh sprays. And most importantly, you never want to spray the device itself. So okay. we're going to take the, um, the laptop that we have right here. Yeah. And if we were going to clean the screen, there's a couple of different ways you can use this. Now, first and foremost, we have what is called the ultimate cloth. Okay. It really is the ultimate cloth. This is one of the best purchases I've ever made. It has silver threading inside of it, so it's actually antimicrobial. Okay. In addition to it, all it requires is water. You rinse it underwater, you wring it out, and you can go ahead and wipe your screen gently. And when it dries, you have something that is completely streak-free. Nice. Now, what I love about this is it lasts up to five years, so you can continue to reuse it over and over again. That's one option to clean your screen. It feels good. It does. And you can use it on more than your screens, right? You can use it on literally any surface. Granite, cool. marble, tile, whatever it is. Nice. So really love that in your cleaning arsenal. Okay. Now, if you want an actual spray to clean your screens, you mm -hmm. can get something like this. This is one of the only sprays on the market that are specialized for your tech. So this is called Woosh. Okay. And what you'll do is use a microfiber cloth. You'll spray the microfiber cloth and screen your and clean your screen. Okay. Now, if you want to make your own spray, which I highly recommend you do because it's pennies, mm -hmm. all you have to do is get a spray bottle and put half distilled water uh -huh. and half rubbing alcohol in it, and you've got yourself a spray, which will disinfect your device. Fantastic. When it comes to the keyboards, you can get something like this. It looks like your kid's slime, but it's not. All you do is you take it off yeah. and you roll it across your keyboard and it will collect all of those crumbs and nastiness, all the dust that's in the, <laughs> in the keyboard. Yeah, if you're eating over your keyboard for lunch, there's some stuff in there. Absolutely. <laughs> so you can roll it right off. Or we're going to talk about this little 7-in-1 uh, device cleaner as well. And you okay. can just uh, softly brush the keyboard. Beautiful. And then wipe it down once again with your rubbing alcohol. Yeah. Gently never spray the device itself. Beautiful. Okay, so phones, uh, is there more that, that we have to say about cleaning these phones? We've Absolutely. Done screens. Okay. <laughs> are we giving it a bath? What are we doing? Okay, so guess what, T? What? Three out of four Canadians are bringing their phone where? To the washroom. <laughs> and the other one in four Canadians are lying about it. Everybody <laughs> is bringing their phone to the bathroom. I am. So one in six phones that have been tested actually have fecal matter on the phone. It's gross. So not only do you want to use that rubbing alcohol solution yeah. to wipe down your phones, but you can also either use a toothpick or one of these picks, which again was included in this little seven in one I like device that little, cleaner. Yeah. Yeah. And you can, when it comes to the ports, all you have to do is just gently pick at that port and yeah. it'll take out all of that dust and debris that can sometimes collect from your purses and your bags and so forth. Absolutely. Now that's the external clean. When it comes yeah. to the internal clean, y'all know we have thousands upon thousands of photos on our phones. Mm -hmm. Don't even ask me how what I'm at now, because we did this segment a few years ago, and I was at like 16,000 or yeah. whatever. 
now it's like it's doubled. It, I believe it. It's doubled. Absolutely, especially in the age of social media. Yeah. So what you want to do is you can get yourself an external flash drive. And mm -hmm. what I love about this is that it's got the tips, so the USB connections for your phones. So the USB-C, you would just uh, connect it into the phone, mm -hmm. upload your photos, and then you can then go ahead and store it in something like your laptop. It's cool. So you want to keep your phones functioning yes. really well, right? And always remember to do your updates as well. Beautiful. Okay, we got to talk about the earbuds. Ooh, okay. Way too embarrassed to bring mine to this studio. Let's talk You're about them earbuds. You're never going to see mine. Okay, so a study found mm. that... Your earbuds like, have no. 2,700 <laughs> times the amount of bacteria that is found on your kitchen cutting board. Yeah. Six times more bacteria than your faucet. When is the last time that you cleaned your earbuds, T? Hold on, let me see if I can come up with the date. <laughs> Never. Right. <laughs> okay, so again, I'm gonna call out the seven in one uh, cleaning kit. I found it on Amazon, so you can go ahead and find it there. Yeah. Now, what I love about it is that this pen is specific for earbuds. So okay. that silicone tip will go into the silicone uh, tip of your earbud. And yeah. when you pick out everything that is in I there, you will you might find, find <laughs> dust, debris, wax, yeah. all kinds of stuff in there. Now you would take the end, which is fluffy, mm -hmm. and you would just go ahead and finish that cleaning. Yeah. And when it comes to the earbud itself, again, just go ahead and wipe it with your microfiber cloth and yeah. your solution, and you're good to go. Beautiful. You don't want to forget about the case either. Just yeah. take your Q-tip, wipe it, and again, you're yeah. good. Equally dutty, the case. <laughs> It's gross. That's the case I've cleaned, but then I'm putting the, the dirty ear, earbuds back in, which is silly. Yeah. Okay, so what do we have next? We're going to talk about uh, some of the, the vacuum over there, yeah, which so is like a hot item. It is. So I found some TikTok sensations, wanted yeah. to see if they actually work. So these are some amazing products that I got from Canadian Tire. Now, when it comes to the crevices, drains, and so forth, you want to use something like what I have here. It's the Rubbermaid Power Scrubber. Yeah. Instead of you having to get in there with your elbow grease, you can get into the nooks and crannies with something like this. I like it. It's really effective. Yeah. Scrubs. The grout, all that stuff. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Six times faster than you would do it with your hand. Good. Now, you also want to make sure that in the spring, you're keeping your air clean. So we have an air purifier here that is portable. You Beautiful. can go ahead and put that in your car compartments and so forth. With allergy season, you definitely want to do that. Nice. And we also have, I love this vacuum, a vacuum from Noma. Now, if you want to get under a bed or couch or something like that, oh, it's got, they oh, like and that. see that suction? Did you see that? Yes. It's awesome. That's very cool. Really, really great. Love if you that. want it, we're going to allow you to buy it. We put a QR code up on the screen, and that actually leads you to the products that we're showing you. Uh, you just basically scan it on your phone, and then you get the link. Lisa, thank you so much Thanks. for reminding me how dirty I am. <laughs>